guys. Thank you so much for coming to a you versus them tarot reading. You versus their karmic. Um, what we're going to do is we're just going to jump right into it. I'm just going to kind of pull intuitively and wherever it goes, it goes. With that being said, if you haven't already, please make sure you like the video and subscribe to my channel. I would greatly appreciate it. There will be an extended at the end of the video, which is available on Vimeo or Patreon. The link for that will be in the comment section below. Also, I am doing personal readings and you can book a personal reading with me as well as uh, where you can get the tarot deck. All of this will be in the description. All right, let's go ahead and get into it. How does the collective's person, whoa, it's already popping out, the moon. How do they feel about this uh, karmic energy? How do they feel about the person that they were dealing with or this karmic energy that's around uh, the collective's person? How do they feel about it? Knight of Swords, okay. Three of Pentacles. Let's just go ahead and get these cards out and then we can kind of discuss it. There was a lot of mind games that happened with them in the collective. And I feel like this is surrounding money or surrounding foundation or surrounding like, even, even though it's like, I don't know why, but I get family. There was a lot of things that weren't said here. Like there was a lot of illusions. Like I feel like wh whoever your person is, they feel like this karmic energy, like they lied a lot. Like there was a lot of deceptions and almost a lot of illusions with what this person was doing. I also feel like too, there was betrayals constantly because there was some type of third party situation. And, and I feel like there was a lot of lies and stalking. Like they feel like this person is a liar. They feel like they stalk Gemini energy, um, Cancer, Pisces, Capricorn, Libra. Like this person, yeah. And I also get too, it's like they always wanted to keep their distance from this person. This person may have children or they may be the father or mother of their children, which I feel like tends to make things a little bit challenging. And I feel like that tends to pull at their heartstrings. And I get that your person probably was somebody who was financially supportive or financially helping out here with this person. But I also get too, with the Six of Swords, how your karm, how, how the karmic in this person communicated, it wasn't healthy. It's like there was always a lot of secrecy, a lot of like weird communication going back and forth with them. Um, and it just wasn't healthy. Let me get these cards. How does, how does this person feel about their karmic romantically? How do they feel about their karmic romantically? Yeah, spiritual hater. Like, this is somebody, whoever they're dealing with, like, they're very negative. Anybody that's doing better than them, it's like they hate on them. They also don't like, whoever this karmic is, I feel like they do know about you. And I feel like they don't like your energy. I feel like there's something about your energy that fucking bothers them. It bothers them a lot. And I think it's because it's like, how dare you think you're going to move on and have this new love and not talk to me. And I feel like this person is a secret hater. I think that this person likes to talk shit. I think that this person um, feels like, you know, if, if, if they sit there and tell this person things about you that they're going to listen. And I just get that they're an overall hater. I also think for your person, whoever they were dealing with, they had a lot of bad toxic habits. Whether it was how they communicated whether it was what they did, whether they were partying, partying, alcohol, drugs, like there was a lot of toxicity with inside of this relationship. And I get that it was a very back and forth type of energy for some reason. I also feel like this karmic person was somebody who really knew how to trigger or how to pull your person's heartstrings. Like whoever this was, like they, they knew how to manipulate um, your person. And I also feel like too, it's like your person was constantly trying to dodge, you know, negativity, you know, toxic. Like I feel like this karmic person, when they came into their life, they also brought a lot of drama. They also brought a lot of things that like really affected this person and made this person feel uncomfortable where they were always having to dodge certain bullets or they were always having to assist with this person and trying to like smooth their, their life out. I also feel like too though, this could have been a situation with them that originally just started off as like 
you know, um, friends with benefits and then it turned into something else. Maybe somebody got pregnant or there was kids involved and that's kind of like what brought things full circle with, with your person and, and their karmic. I also feel though with, with the karmic person, I feel like they're very fixated and they're very focused. Like this person is like taking pictures of certain things. Um, this is somebody who tends to lie, who tends to not have their facts straight. This is somebody who tends to make things up. I feel like they've even lied about you at times because I do feel like this karmic energy, they do know about you. Um, and I feel like whoever you're dealing with may have rejected them. Yeah. I'm telling you guys, when, when your person ended up getting with this person, karma hit them tough because the problem is whoever your person was dealing with, they had a lot of toxic things going on in their life. A lot of toxicity. I feel like this person was always partying. I feel like there, there's something here with this person where it's like they're just, it's not a good situation. And I feel like your person got a lot of karma dealing with them for some reason. I don't know why. Yeah. And there's also a lot of family issues. Whoever this karmic is, it's like they've created issues um, with your person's family, with their family. Like they have issues. Like there, there's always something going on. There's always some type of drama that's happening with inside of their family or with inside of, you know, however, you know, whatever they think is happening. How does this karmic person, how do they think um, their person feels about them? Or how, do, how, how does the karmic person view their situation with 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 the collective's person they're angry at them i can tell you that nightmare see i think that whatever's happened between the karmic and your person it's like they're waiting they're waiting for this person they're trying to understand exactly what's going on there may even be some type of legal action that they're, that's being taken against them. And I also feel like, too, somebody here is really intimidated, threatened, or bothered by the energy. Like, they feel like they've neglected them. Like, all of a sudden, it's just nothing. There's no emotions. Um, there's a lot of secrecy. They're in a place where, like, they're unable to sleep. They're having nightmares. They're, they're trying to understand why it's happening. They're trying to balance out their heart and their head here, and they feel very intimidated. Why is this person feeling intimidated and, and has this anxiety? Why, why? Why does this karmic energy feel intimidated with, with all this anxiety? Why? Because your person is into you. Because your person likes you. And I think that this person is fed up. I think that they're tired because when it comes to you, you're winning. And this person is angry. It's like they're holding a grudge because they don't understand why they want you and not them. It's bothering them. Why are they so into them? What do they have that I don't, right? You know, this person has even threatened to physically like harm you, fight with you, physical fight, competing. Like this person is like wants to compete. The problem is you're coming in as this queen rising. The queen doesn't fight. The queen laughs. The queen's like, girl, bye. You're pathetic, right? Or boy, bye, right? I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this with you. Whoever, how, how you're being viewed right now, it's it's stepping into power. Regardless if you're a man or a woman, you're stepping into a power. You're, you're being praised. You're in the spotlight. There's something very significant. You may even be on social media or, or on YouTube or something where this person sees you they see how well you're doing and i think that it upsets them and i think that it bothers them because now they're in their head and they're stressed and they're overthinking because they don't have as much as you do they don't nearly have as much as you have to offer them they need the counterpart more than you do like i feel like as the collective you guys can stand on your own with your energy but when it comes to this person they can't they don't have enough to offer. And you're over here just like, whatever. I could give two flying fucks. Like, I'm going to do me at the end of the day. Like, you're very unbothered by their energy. And I feel like this person is trying to manipulate things, even for some of you guys, spiritually. But I just get overwhelmingly. It's like, it doesn't matter. Like, like you don't, you don't fucking care.
what, what, what messages do you want me to tell the collective about this karmic energy? They're trying to kiss your person's ass. And I also feel like too, they're trying to find some type of information on you where they're trying to look things up in order to start some type of drama. Like, I feel like this person is, is trying to tell your person that you're a player. I feel like there's a level of obsessive energy here. And again, I feel like, thank you. I feel like with the shine card here, you irritate them. Like your energy is so bright and light that it ultimately makes this person just angry. Like just looking at you, it's funny though, because I feel like this person wants to be you, but just looking at you, it's like, it fucking makes them mad. It, it's it, it's like just your energy, just your energy alone. It's like this person just can't, it's like they can't handle it, which is so funny to me. What's going on with, what? what's currently, okay, burdens. What's currently happening with this karmic energy and, and this person? What's what's currently going on? Yeah, I feel like there's a lot of stress. And I feel like the karmic energy is coming to apologize to your um, divine person. I think that they're saying, I have a lot going on. I'm sorry for what's happened. I understand, you know, I've put you through a lot. Enough is enough. You know, I, I, I'm going to eliminate what I need to eliminate in order to make things work. And can you forgive me? I feel like that's their energy. It's, it's, they're playing this woe is me energy where it's like, they're trying to act like the victim here. Like, oh my God, I messed up. Okay. I know I'm sorry. Like this person is really trying to cater to your person's, um, ego. I feel like. They've asked your person for one last chance. And they said, like, I'll prove it to you. I'm going to prove to you that, you know, this time around that things are going to be different. Um, you know, I'm not going to force things to happen. Um, you know, last time it wasn't the right time. I also think, too, this person is watching like heavily stalking the social media. I feel like they even mentioned that. For so See, that's the problem with this person though. Like time out. Like let me pull one more card. New love. I feel like this is your energy. The problem with this person is they're so focused on you and what you're doing and who you are that they're not paying attention to why they suck. No offense, but I feel like this person sucks. I feel like this person is jealous. I feel like this person creates a lot of stress and drama and chaos inside of their life for a fucking reason. I think that they use children as a pawn. I feel like, you know, the way that they communicate, it's almost like they go hot and cold constantly. Um, this is a situation where it's like they should have never been with each other to begin with. This is a karmic situation and it just doesn't fucking work. also get to though your person is really upset by the way that things have gone with them and you like they're haunted by their mistakes they're they're haunted by what they've done because I do feel like this person really do does love you and they know that being with you is better than being with them the problem is now that they choose you for some of you guys, I feel like you've let them go. You're like, I'm not doing this anymore. I don't want to do this anymore with you. Now your person is over here overthinking. I feel like they're unable to sleep. They're realizing how incomparable you are. No one has ever made them feel the way that you do. They can't sleep at night because the thoughts of you are driving them crazy. They don't know what to do. They feel helpless. They feel trapped into a situation where it's like they almost feel like you've come in and like you've erased, erased them. They're really struggling here. Um, your person. They may be drinking a lot or turning to drinking. Um, I think that they've told themselves, you know, it's not the right time to come forward. 
they're waiting for you to make the first move here. And I think that you're pushing their buttons. They know that you're pushing them towards commitment. Either commit or don't. Get out. I also feel like though with your person, you know, they, they have two sides of them. What you know, who you know, and who other people know are completely different. And I also feel like with this person, they're very focused on their finances. They're very focused on work. Your person may be somebody who just randomly sleeps around. It's not like they're investing, but I feel like when it comes to you, it's like they love you, right? Sex is sex, but there's also love. And when you love somebody, that's a different type of energy, right? And I feel like this person has been trying to strategize on how to get you back on what to do because you're very focused on yourself right now. And I get that there is a sense of desperation with this person because they want to win. They want to win. Why does this person want to win? Because you're fighting it. You're not giving them what they want and they feel like you've gotten away. Now, all of a sudden, it's like they're seeing your worth. They're having this epiphany at Tiffany's thinking, oh, shit, what have I done? They're worried about who else you're talking to. They don't like the attention that you receive from other people. They're scared that you've moved on, right? They're angry at their actions and the actions of others. They feel like they played themselves. They feel like you don't trust them. And for them, it's like, I never meant to hurt you. I never meant to fall in love with you. But now all of a sudden, you're the only one that I want to think about. And they feel like they're divinely guided towards you. For some of you guys, this started off as a friendship. And now it's like time is ticking and the clock is running. And the longer that this clock runs, the more differences you're beginning to see with the level of freedom. And this person, it's like their partying is no longer making them happy. There's a lot of lessons here on, on drama, a lot of lessons here on, on what they can expect, on, on, on what they need. Let's see. What is, what is the karmic person said to the uh, divine partner? What have, what have they said about the collective? What have they said about the collective? Let me, let me get these cards, actually. What have they said about the collective to the divine counterpart? Okay. Shine. Your shine or your light irritates their demons. That's what they've said to them. What is, what is the uh, divine counterpart told the karmic about the collective? That's a lot. What is the divine, can I get it out? What is the divine counter? It's like, it's like this person has a lot to say. I, I don't know why. What, what have they said to the karmic about the divine counterpart? What is the, what is the collective's divine said to the karmic about their connection? It's like they're fed up. They're tired of like hearing this person. They're tired of talking about it with them. Like they feel like it's none of your fucking business. Mind, mind your business. Like that's what I'm getting strongly. Um, what is what is the divine counterpart? What have they said to their friends about the collective? What have they said to their friends about the collective? Mm. You hurt their ego. Like I think that whatever they've done whatever they said, whatever they've done, it's, it's hurting them. What is this divine person? What are they thinking about heavily when it comes to this collective energy? Ooh, boss daddy. This person wants to take a step towards you. And they're trying to figure out exactly how to approach you in the right way. But it's like they're struggling, I feel like. Like they're struggling on exactly what to say to you. And what do you, what, what is the, um, what is the karmic person? 
what is their actions? What, what is their actions in general here? Let me ask something else. What is important information that you want the collective to know about their divine person? What do you want the collective to know about their divine counterpart? Okay, idol is here. Okay, screenshots and creeping. Your person is watching you very, very, very closely. They may be stalking you. They may be watching you heavily. Um, they're creeping on your social media. I feel like this person is lightweight creeping in general, if you want me to be honest. Um, it's, 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 it's a really interesting type of energy. I'm gonna get these cards out and then this is gonna be what's in the extended, okay? How does, um, what is this person, what is the karmic energy said to the divine about the collective? Okay, they said that you've met somebody new. They said that, you know, you don't really want them, that you're just out there dating, doing you. And what is the, what is the divine said to the karmic about, about, about you? They said that it's over because for some of them, they feel like it's over with you. Okay, the cassette, you know, I feel like this person keeps replaying things over and over in their head, but it's funny because I don't feel like, I feel like your divine person is tired of talking to them. Like, I think that they're tired of trying to even explain shit to them. Like, they don't want to talk to them. What What is the divine person said to their friends about, about um, the collective? They want to change the way that things are going. There's a lot of obstacles that need to be overcome before you and them can be together, but that they do want to be with you regardless. And what is their what is their next action? Or what what, what, what what do they want to say to the collective? They're watching you again. Mm. You've broken somebody's heart. You're deeply sad, deeply hurt, separated. This person feels broken without you. And I feel like they're really trying to act like it's not bothering them, but I feel like it's devastating them. And what are they watching? What are they watching here? What is this person watching? One more time. Or what messages, what, 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 what are other messages you have for the collective when it comes to their person? They're trying to make healthy choices right now. This has come out twice. They love you. They love you a lot. I just think that they're having a really hard time right now because you're forcing them to elevate to something different. And it's like you're no longer being the other person. Like they need to end everything else that they're dealing with because time is running out and they get that. So if you guys want to know more about this, we're going to go into deep depth. With, with this, as well as pull more Oracle messages, please feel free to click on the link in the comment section below. It will take you straight to Vimeo where you guys can purchase the extended. With that being said, I love you guys so much. Thank you for all of your love and support. And until next time, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.